you are giving tithing out of your pension? I said, yes. He said, how come you are only giving 5,000? If you give tithing, that is supposed to be 14,000. I said, Father, it's too big. So much. I said, yes, that's the money of the Lord. It's not your money anyway. You have to give to the Lord what belongs to Him, right? I, tell, I said, if you will give your tithing, the 14,000, we will use, at, use that to put up a house in Tagbilaran City. Wow, he said, if that's the case, he said, I will give 15. And she gave $15,000. We put up the house in Tagbilaran. It's a small house worth 600,000 pesos. It's a two-room house. We have seminarians there now. Nine seminarians. And we have two priests with them. And the nine seminarians are sleeping on the floor. With the priests also sleeping on the floor. Because we don't have beds yet. We have no beds yet. So until now, they're still sleeping on the floor. And the priests sleeping on the floor with the seminarians. You know what? I was talking yesterday to somebody who was asking me about our, our house. I said, we have a new house in Tagbilar and this is the situation. The seminarians are sleeping on the floor and they are, and with the priest also sleeping on the floor. He was touched, he cried. And he said, Father, I'm going to help you. He pulled out his checkbook and he wrote, he gave me 50,000 pesos. Wow! So we have 50,000 pesos to use for beds, to buy beds, and maybe to put some covering. See? We want to put up a, a, a covering for seminarians to, to, to discuss and have a meeting and so on and he told me father you put up a chapel design a chapel but it should be very simple just just a uh, nipa bamboo chapel says i will buy the crucifix and the tabernacle if you can put up a, a chapel for the seminarians to pray just bamboo chapel I will buy the crucifix and the tabernacle wow and we will finance the chapel anyway it's only bamboo it will not cost much we will finance it you see what people can do how people can be touched how the Lord can bless how the Lord can bless and the Lord wants to bless everybody the Lord does not want to have anybody in misery because He's a God of the miserable. No, He wants us to be blessed, but He wants us to put the puhunan. If you want to have business, you have to put up the capital, right? And the capital that the Lord is asking us is just give back to Him what He has given to us. He that, you don't have to raise the capital. What you need is what the Lord gives, give back to Him. 10 pesos. If you're receiving only 10 pesos, then okay, give to him 1 peso. But don't say, oh, never mind the Lord. Anyway, it's only a small amount. No matter how small amount that you receive, 10 pesos, give him back 1 peso. And you will be surprised, he will open the flat gates of heaven. So brothers and sisters, we need to be a believer. If you cannot give to God what belongs to God, you are not a good Christian. You are not a Christian because you don't believe in Christ's words. You are not a good Christian. Maybe you can call yourself a Christian. You are baptized, but you are not a good Christian. Why? You are a rubber Christian. Can you imagine you are a rubber Christian? See? How can you come to church and worship God how can you come to prayer meeting and worship God when you are a robber? 
And you are not robbing from any person. You are robbing from God. Imagine, of all the person you rob, you rob God. Oh my. It's bad enough to rob people, right? It's bad enough to rob people. But to rob God, that's worse. It's bad enough to rob people, to rob banks. But to rob God is worse. So, there you go. If you are not giving to God what belongs to God, you will not also give to people what belongs to people. People who do not give to God what belongs to God, they are not fair with God. They are robbers. They are also robbers of people. They will not give to people what belong to people. Like, for example, they will not give salaries, good salaries. If at all they give salaries, it's the minimum. Do you know that there are still people receiving 80 pesos a day? 